Ladies and gentlemen, this is the latest edition of the Dragon Ball Hot Takes. You know how y'all be, man. Which one's going to be the trending one in the comment section? You guys are the most unpredictable community of all time. Like the video, subscribe, hit the noti bell. I'll become a member if you want to see the non-anime stuff. We're going to start uploading uh, the games on there soon. Uh, boondocks, pilots, all that other shit, bro. It's literally anything. It's just more sage, you feel me? And I don't want to sound conceited, but I ain't going to lie. We be having fun. If you don't want to spend any money, but you want to make the extra work, follow up on the Twitch for sure so you can be a part of chat. The ending of the Future Trunks arc really wasn't that bad. Obviously, Future Trunks and my living in an alternate timeline was stupid and rushed, but Zeno erasing the timeline is actually a good move considering Zamasu is still immortal and we've seen from Garlic Jr. Bro, here's one thing in the Dragon Ball community that I've noticed in contrast to the Naruto community that's a bit different. You know what? Maybe that's Cap. Maybe it's an anime thing in general. But I've noticed more so in the Dragon Ball community, just because things make sense or can be explained doesn't make it good writing or a good thing. So yes, Zamasu is technically still immortal. So yes, Zenu erasing the timeline is the way to erase him. That is obviously true. But the idea that that is a good ending is insane work. You're telling me that you retconned Vegeta just so he doesn't get the kill. And you know what? That's fine. If Trunks got to get the kill on a weekend Zamasu, cool. But we're not even going to talk about the spirit sword. You then have him use the spirit sword, cut him in half, and this nigga fuses with the universe and makes pretty much everything you've done up to this entire point irrelevant and basically showing you, hey, killing Zamasu is like the actual worst thing you could do because now he's unkillable. And then all... All it is ultimately is Goku pushing the Zeno button. It was anticlimactic and weak. It, You know how better it would be if that was the ending of Zamasu? He just cut him in half. His body evaporated GGs. Instead, <laughs> I'm Fusion Zamasu. Everywhere is my face. I'm going to destroy everything. It, it That was so bad. But at the end of the day, I've never heard a person say they like that ending. So it is a hot take, but my God, do I disagree. Vegeta is a worse father than Goku, almost letting your wife and child die if Trunks did not intervene. He first hugged Trunks when he was eight, and there was a majority of the Dragon Ball fan base saying that he's a better dad than Goku. Vegeta is clearly a lesser nurturing dad than Goku. I think that is very, very, very obvious. Any person that thinks that Vegeta is a more nurturing father than Goku is trying. So do I think Vegeta is an awful father i mean at this point in time you know yeah <laughs> but in general i wouldn't say that vegeta is a bad parent over time because that's a part of his character initially this version of vegeta yeah he is a shit father especially at this specific point in time prior to gaining respect for trunks the way he showed tough love to trunks is pretty different now obviously how he treats uh bulma and baby trunks of course yeah that's why i still say at this point in time he's definitely a bad dad but over time his appreciation for trunks grown-up trunks goes then his appreciation for bulma and baby trunks grows and ultimately he becomes a much better better dad but at this point in time he's definitely arguably the worst father we've ever seen majin buu is the most hoed villain in dragon ball how is he hoed because he doesn't have like that um i'm a good guy now and does significant shit arc yeah i'd question how majin buu's hoed he even got a reincarnation even though he ain't died <laughs> The nigga has a good part of him that's alive, a reincarnated part of him that's alive. The evil part died. How is he hoed? Huh? Shouldn't have died that way? Majin Buu it several times should have died. Yeah, I don't know how he got hoed. The peak moments of Super are better than the peak moments of Z or GT. You know, that's not the worst thing I've heard. I'm still going to disagree, but that's not the worst take. Hear me out. I'm not going to lie. Do I personally still say the Super Saiyan transformation is peak? Yes. Do I personally still say Father Sound? Kamehameha, while other moments in Super maybe eclipse it, is still one of them ones. Yes. Do I still think Goku vs. Cell is one of the best fights the series has ever seen? Yes. But we cannot act like Ultra Instinct alone wasn't one of the best things handled in the series. From the way it was hinted at. From the way it was revealed the first and second time. Lord knows the time MUI was released and I think Omen's better than MUI, but my god, when Goku unlocks MUI and looks like a literal deity catching some red sphere pushes it away with his fingers dog e even if for whatever reason you think it's bad writing the bottom of the course it's fucking cool the worst case is it's fucking cool bro this is not the worst take i stamp it's not do i disagree right now yes but there's another video i'm not gonna say which video where i pick a very iconic super moment and or transformation go find out compared to a very iconic z moment and or transformation so i'm not mad at this at all super saiyan 4 borders between cool and goofy super saiyan 4 
4 to me, the concept of it and design of it is fucking badass. Yeah, Super Saiyan 4 is obviously gangster. Just just fire to look at. But um, in terms of how it could be seen goofy over time, you got to be talking about Vegeta because Goku's never OD goofy in 4, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, Goku's not annoying to me in Super Saiyan 4. I would say you're talking about just Gogeta, which he, yeah, flagrantly is goofy. But Super Saiyan 4, yeah, other than that, it's fucking awesome. This scene doesn't get the credit that it deserves. Brought back a lot of viewership to DBS when it was declining and one of the hypest moments in Dragon Ball Super. I feel if the anime started with the Universe 6 arc, DBS would have been received much better. Look, so I have a hot take. Some people like the music score in this scene. I don't. I think it's kind of weird for this moment. In terms of visually, it's fucking awesome. So I give you that. But um, do I want to say it's like the thing that saved Super? But that's only because the thing that saved Super was that finally we're not rehashing movies. I don't think it was this moment so good that everyone was like, oh my God, I like Dragon Ball Super again. I think it's more so, yo, thank God they're not talking about movies because everybody was going to watch Super. Hell, some people even watch the movie arcs just to be like, okay, what has changed? What's different? What are they going to keep the same? And obviously, at the end of the day, some niggas like Dragon Ball. They can watch shit 20 times over. But I also would argue that because Super was telling you a story you already knew, that people were just going to clamor on to the first thing that wasn't something they already knew, though. For sure. Goku did everything he was supposed to do during the Cell game. Tried to see if he could win, but Gohan, who probably could have packed him if he tried, gave Cell a sense of being because he has Freezer DNA and would try to blow up the planet if he felt like he was going to lose. You know, that's kind of a reach, but but I'm here for it. Because in a weird way, because I already had the hot take that the Sensu Bean ain't that bad. So if the Sensu Bean's not bad, and then all the other shit, now do I think as someone else just typed that Goku thought that of all of that? No. But I also don't think Goku's a dumbass. And I think his motives were smart enough in the sense of, yo, Gohan, I need you to box this guy because one, I want to see if you're truly the next phase. Two, and most importantly, worst case scenario, you probably could just beat him anyway. Three, dog, you have lame potential and I believe in you. It's so many other things, and it ended up being such a such a great call by Goku. It almost cost a life, so fair enough. I don't think he thought of Frieza's DNA and that nigga blowing up the planet. Because if he did, I don't think he came into the tournament prepared to kill himself. But, um, you know, it was pretty cool. However, I will confess, yeah, if Gohan had just done his job and blown the nigga the fuck up, yeah, there wouldn't have been that situation. This is like 10% odds that he wasn't thinking of this, but the fact that this is possible, I agree with it, but it's a, it's a minor reach. I'll say that. Gotenks has the most potential more than Gohan if they only took fighting fights more serious. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> look, 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 look. Before you're like, oh, but, but, but Super Saiyan's is kids. No, 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 no. Because then that would imply that you think all of the Universe 6 Saiyans have more potential than Gohan. Do you understand how nasty Gohan's potential is? This nigga Gohan cannot train for like years and in a matter of like hours can catch up the fucking blue when Frieza was just ooh, 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 in first form. And if you want to say, well, he was training off screen, whatever, be via the Universe 6 uh, tournament, he's a little bit in shape. That's fine. That nigga weren't still sniffing blue. So you're telling me in hours he's capable of going from, let's just say, godish level to just, yo, you got to go blue Kaioken to one tap me? Dog. <laughs> I'm probably honestly overrating how strong he was before he started training. But either the fuck way, you see how insane these leaps are? Gohan easily, and this isn't even factoring rage boost. This is just Gohan training. Gohan easily has top three potential in the series, and I'm sorry to tell you, this nigga's not on the list. Yeah, Gotenks has insane potential. I'm not, because I know how some of you guys keyboarded up. I'm not downplaying Gotenks' potential. I'm saying Gohan has just straight up more. Mind you, I didn't use any rage boost boost argument during that argument if you think for whatever reason gohan is way stronger than i gave him credit for and doesn't get as strong as i gave him credit for okay nigga when gohan get pissed it's over with what are we talking about yeah they might not even be top five frieza broly jiren gohan and then you can maybe make an argument for 17 and or Khalifa. fat boo is much more interesting and playing better than other versions of boo no nah no he's not Nah. Boo Han's easily the more interesting character. Kid Boo being just evil incarnate makes him more interesting. And Super Boo kind of being on the same type of timing, but with the ability to absorb people and adapt his personality alone make him more interesting because you're interested in how X personality will blend with that evil incarnate. So no, those two alone. Kid Boo off of pure hype. Super Boo off of pure speculation make them more interesting.
interesting characters. Plain better, I don't even know where you get that from. All Fat Boo is is like a misled, really strong child that doesn't know better, and that's cool, but come on. Beast Gohan is the most unnecessary transformation they did in a while. I have to rewatch the movie because I've only seen the movie once seriously. The other time, I ain't gonna lie, I was editing. I want to say no to this, though. I want to say it's not that bad. As much as, like, rage people try to dive into other stuff, and I've even looked into Orange and slowly am open more to Orange than I am initially. But Beast, I've always said Beast is nothing different than like all the other Gohan transformations. Now, if you think all of them suck, fair enough, but I wouldn't then anoint this the king. Especially, and y'all know me, when you say most unnecessary, dog, y'all fight this fight for zero reason. Super Saiyan Rage is right there. It just is. And mind you, Beast at least does something. In terms of necessity, them niggas were going to die. Super Saiyan 3 don't do shit. I'm just saying, if we really getting technical, I can make that argument. I'm not just to be a little bit more PC, just so I don't get the, no, Sage, you're bugging there. Because I'm not harping on Beast versus Super Saiyan 3. I don't really care about Beast Super versus Super Saiyan 3. But what I will say is most is crazy. Rage is right there. Would have loved to see a scenario where Vegeta was Gohan's dad. Oh, all right, yeah. All right, look, man. Look, look, look. If we change our clothes, then we change our clothes. It's me, your boy, TSO Sage, here with Dragon Ball Hot Takes. That's quite the ending. Take care and stay blessed.